Platinum Radio, I'm David Martos, this is the 67th edition of San Sebastian Film Festival and um, we're here with Louise Archambault, she's the director of And the Birds Rain Down, which is a really nice title in English too. Louise, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much for the invitation. Um, your, your movie is in competition, how does it feel? Well, it's wonderful for sure, you know, it's a great, great festival and uh, so it's an, an honor. Okay, um, you've been doing TV for a while, and it's been s some years since like your last film, like yeah. five, six years. Why is that? I mean, is it so difficult to to build up uh, a project, or you prefer to focus on TV? No, it's a mixture of both. It's not a, that I prefer. I would have sh preferred to shoot a few films in between. I, after my last film, Gabriel, I got many offers from abroad, especially from the States and uh, Europe. And I, I, I took one project and I, I, I went off into Paris because it was a co-production, mainly France, and shot in Israel. Quite delicate subject with the politics involved. And it took a long time to get, you know, to get it started. And it was always like on the starting point. Mm -hmm. It got translated in English with an American producer, Richard Dreyfus, and <laughs> it got very complicated. And at some point, uh, I didn't do it, you know, because there's many people involved. Okay. So that's one thing. Uh, it's where you put your, you know, your dice. And uh, I did write this film and another film I hope to, to direct. And I'm just finishing, I'm in post-production for a feature film that is coming out uh, December 25. Ah, good. Yeah. Good, good. So speaking about this film here in San Sebastian, why did you decide to, to, to talk about this um, story about, about elder people, about uh, romance, somehow a romance in the third age, somehow uh, remembering the past and, and forgiving uh, others and healing wounds? Why this story? Uh, mainly when I was drawn to that novel at first with the subject. You know, I, I thought, I felt the subject was bigger, larger than myself and my little me, you know, it's not, not, uh, you don't scratch your, how do you say that, nombril? Uh, and, and, and the, your belly. Belly, yeah, yeah you know, your, your, yourself, it's about others, it's about, you know, and it's about openness, differences, uh, a nod to life and love and liberty. And I thought, yeah, there was something, and it's not never uh, with miserabilism or, or depressing or, you know, it's, there's um, hope and light at the end, even though their characters, they're quite, you know, all outcast with, um, you know, pa heavy pasts, but you go further with that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you would define this film as a risky one because you know that films are two-sided. They have this artistic side and the commercial side and in the commercial side you should put in front of the camera a young pretty face and an action and adventure and you decided on the contrary to show old people with stories to tell. Uh, I would say a slow-paced film. Yeah. Um, did you think about the risks when you while I was writing at some point, I was really drawn, writing, I, I smelled the forest and I really loved, okay. enjoyed writing, but I was like, who the hell is going to watch that film, you know, <laughs> with older people in the forest, ermites, I'm like, what the heck, you know, the previous film I have mentally challenged actors and now I do that, why can't I do it? simple way you know <laughs> western <laughs> yeah and but then again you know you don't know and the path is the 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 film uh, came out on screens uh, in maybe 60 screens and in quebec mm -hmm. uh, last week and it was second rank uh, okay. after it so i guess there's people go see that film they feel good about it you know it's like a class a film that we can identify and we we Afterwards, we feel like uh, with hope, you know, filled with hope. Mm -hmm. What kind of director do you th would you say you are? I mean, on the set, are you um, on the talkative side of directors, saying the actors all the time what they have to do and giving notes, or you're the silent one who is behind the monitor? I think I love making jokes and laugh a lot. It's very rigorous, 
but not complicated. Okay. So I really work uh, so the interactions between my actors is good. Um, I, I usually I choose actors that are you know the, they put their egos outside the set and they come you know generous with the characters and the others I, and so I'm very picky on uh, finding nuances in the acting so just to talk but talk to, to, we search together you know mm -hmm. it's like a ballet we do it together and try things and sometimes I'm gonna improvise things as well and I'm gonna say okay change that line or try this one and just for one thing just try something different to see what happens but always in and having in mind what is the story and what is who is that character where can we go but you know keep it open to where we can go mm -hmm. Um, one of the main issues in the last Venice Film Festival was the lack of women directors in the main competition. Here in San Sebastian, you are many directors competing, which is, I think it's good. Um, do you believe in quotas? Uh, yes, I do believe in quotas. Not, uh, not uh, as long as the, um, the content and the film is good, as good, you know. But since, and it's a delicate question, you know. Um, I think since the beginning, a long time, you know, centuries ago, it's within ourselves, you know, we, we rank, we have a, um, a way of ranking people and, mm -hmm. and in that case, you know, the hierarchy between men and women who, who has the right to, to do what or whatever, a film or in that case. And I think here in Spain and in Canada, we are privileged but that's not a privilege that we have uh, in the world. And so we need, I guess, uh, the woman to practice their art, to have the chance to have you know, funding and the same funding just to they, they practice. But at the end of it, we, ha we want good stories. Hmm. And we just want you know, uh, to have that mixture and to, to nourish one another hmm. from it. And my last question would be, um, which part of the process of, of filmmaking do you enjoy the most? Like hmm. from the writing to the, or the idea or the casting or shooting or editing, I don't know. For sure it would be directing on set. Mm -hmm. I love the adrenaline of it. But what's amazing about that, that making a film is every, uh, every part has a creative aspect of it and it builds and you have different people um, collaborate uh, w with the project. So either you're writing, I like writing sometimes, but I really prefer making the films. And that's why maybe when I get TV series proposition, I take it because it's already, you know, I'm the, in the action, I like that. And then when you're in post-production, you have music, you have, you know, all the sound editing and the titles and you, you can all, it's like, you, you try to make a whole, you know, and a piece. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, Louise Archambault, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much. This was an interview for Fred, the Festival Insider.